Hi, David. Hey. <laughs> um, I'm Elisa, and um, like you, I wear many hats. And I know you have obviously had the well-known career in sport, but you're also a businessman. You're highly connected to community. You're a father and parent of four children. How do you actually balance everything that you do? Um, it's a huge balancing act. I'm not gonna not gonna lie, you know, because obviously I had a very structured uh, life for a number of years. Obviously, with my playing career. But obviously when I retired when I was 38, obviously that all changed. You know, obviously I was then in the business world. I traveled to different places and spent a huge amount of time in different parts of the world that actually I wasn't, not wasn't allowed to, wasn't able to when I was playing. And then coupled with, you know, having four kids, uh, which are always mine and Victoria's priority, um, you know, it's a balancing act because obviously Victoria works very hard as well and she has a... A, a very successful business which demands a lot of her time so you know whenever I'm away she's at home whenever she's away I'm at home so we balance it like that which you know is, is difficult at times but um, our children know that they're our number one priority so it's all about them uh, it's all about the family um, and we balance it like that. Well a big part of mental well-being too is that having a passion and a purpose every day and I'm sure the diversity of all those things you do makes David in this era of your life the best version of you. Yeah and, and that's the great part of my business side now you know it is so diverse you know I go from obviously doing something with AIA to then doing you know something on the Invictus side for the Invictus games then you know I, I'm, I'm part of obviously Adidas for 20 years um, you know so there's so many different parts of my life that actually keep me really focused and on the mental side of things I think that's important you know it's important to have a passion I've always said that to the kids you know they know that my number one passion is them um, but they also know that my my passion is my career they knew how passionate I was it's why I actually wanted to be a father a young father because I actually wanted my kids to live through my career with me I wanted wanted them to see the highs that I had they also went through the certain parts that were difficult in my career you know it's been it's been amazing to actually have them around when I'm picking up trophies in Spain or picking up trophies in 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 LA you know things like that are important but also for them to be there for the challenging times because as we all mm -hmm. know life's not sunshines and rainbows no. and you got to work hard and mm -hmm. you know I love that you talk about being a role model but you also provide an insight for us that you you talk through experiences with your children. Mm -hmm. So as much as you give to them and to the world, mm -hmm. how do you actually still role model self-care for them and show them that looking after oneself is truly important? I think that that's obviously with kids, you know, that's that's the tough part because obviously they they have to know the truth at times and they have to know that actually life can be difficult at times, you know, this there's certain things that I've gone through in my career that that were very challenging, um, but the way I got through them actually is kind of an old school mentality is to get my head down and work hard but one thing that you that I that me and Victoria have taught the kids is you need to talk you need to be able to open up to to your friends to your family um, because it solves a lot of things to be able to talk to someone if you're going through certain worries or you're stressed about something to be able to talk about it is really important